Alright, hey guys, Zachman18 here. We'll go back to TZM TV Channel 18. Before we start today's broadcast of Learning with Zachman18, look what happened last night. The snow has gotten way more thick. Sorry, my screen is in the way, but uh, my window screen, but it was pouring snow all night last night. It's insane. So I have no school again today. And. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to put up an episode yesterday. I was too busy having so much fun in the snow and uh, doing our snow day event on Game & Watch the other day that uh, it just totally slipped my mind. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Today is March 22nd, the 82nd day of 2012. 284 days left in the year. Let's go to today's highlight. In 1765, the British Parliament passed the Stamp Act, the Stamp Act of 1765 to raise money for the American colonies, which fiercely resisted the tax. The Stamp Act was repealed a year later. On this, also on this date in history, in 1312, Pope Clement V is issued a pap papal bull ordering the dissolution of the Order of the Knights Templar. In 1638, religious dissident Anne Hutchinson was expelled from the Massachusetts Bay Colony for defying Puritan orthodoxy. In 1820, U.S. naval hero Stephen Decatur was killed in a duel with Commodore James Barron near Washington, D.C. In 1894, hockey's first Stanley Cup championship game was played. Home team Montreal defeated Ottawa 3-1. In 1912, Academy Award winner actor Carl Malden was born Malden George Sik Sikulovich in Chicago. In 1933, during prohibi Prohibition, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed a measure to make wine and beer containing up to 3.2% alcohol legal. In 1941, the Grand Coulee Hydroelectric Dam in Washington State went into operation. In 1958, movie producer Mike Todd, the husband of actress Elizabeth Taylor, and three other people were killed in the crash of Todd's private plane near Grant, New Mexico. In 1962, the musical I Can Get It For You Wholesale, featuring the Broadway debut of 19-year-old Barbara Streisand, opened at the Schubert Theater. In 1978, Carl Walenda, the 73-year-old patriarch of the Flying Walenda's High Wire Act, fell to his death while attempting to walk a cable strung between two hotel towers in San Juan, Puerto Rico. In 1992, 27 people were killed when a U.S. Air jetliner crashed on takeoff from New York's LaGuardia Airport, and 24 people survived. And finally, in 1997, Tara Lipinski, at age 14 years and 10 months, became the youngest ladies' world figure skating champion in Lausanne, Switzerland. Thanks for watching today's episode of Learning with Zachman18. I'm the Zachman18. Have fun in the snow for anyone who has snow in their area, and I'll see you guys later.